How's everybody doing today? Here we have a 2015 Ford Focus 1.5 liter. Customer complaint. Oil leaks. Coolant leak. And I don't know, something else maybe. But what I am going after right now is the coolant. They said they filled up the coolant a couple weeks later it was uh they had to add more coolant and i put a pressure tester on it you see it over there and left it on there about an hour raised it up because i was inspecting other cars raised it up looked for leaks couldn't find a leak externally and these engines are bad about um head gaskets and coolant intrusion so I am going to pull the spark plugs, coils and spark plugs, and we're gonna try out my new uh, inspection camera here, Indoscope. So it's got three little cameras on it. So I've been wanting to try it out and see how that picture looks. And so it's been on here, the pressure test has been on here probably three hours. I put it up to 20 pounds and it is setting at 17 pounds. So it ha it's dropped three pounds. And it does all have all kinds of, uh, the whole bottom of the engine is covered in oil. But I'm not really too much worried about the oil if we have coolant intrusion because it'll need an engine. And it didn't have any misfire codes, but this is what I'm going after, so we'll see. And so the lady also said that intermittently it will stumble on startup, which I didn't get it to do it. But that even leads me more to thinking coolant intrusion, because if it, have, if it has coolant in there, then it is going to misfire when it starts up. So this will be my first time using this. Nice little camera there, and it is a N D or N I D A G E. Let's turn it on. Okay, there we go. We got we got a picture. We got a pretty nice uh, long cord here with it. Well, we've got liquid in the very first one. Yep. So we got cooling in that one, which is number two. Definitely a lot better picture than my other camera. That one looks dry. Number four. Looks like it's got a little dampness over there in the corner. Let's go ahead and pull out number one, I guess, also. See you guys here in a second. Just want to get them all looked at. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, so cylinders number one. And what was it?
was it number two? Look at that current. That's cylinder one. Got a lot of coolant in it. Let's see, let me take a picture. Now let's go into number two. I can't remember if it was number. I got a bad memory, fellas. Let's see. This is number two. Got a little bit there. Wet around the edges. Right there. But number one is full of coolant, so that's the one we will take a video of and show the for the warranty company. All kinds of coolant in there. So if you are on, on these little Fords, little Ford four cylinders, if you're losing coolant. Um, you might have a misfire code. It might misfire and shudder a little bit every once in a while when you start it. Um, if you get you a pressure tester, like that right there, and put on the coolant reservoir, pump it up to 20 pounds, leave it set on there about five hours. If it's real bad, it'll probably show up in an hour. But the test says to leave it on there for five hours. Then get you a little scope like this. Like I said, this one was 60 bucks on Amazon. I'm, I'm pretty impressed with the image and how clear it is. And that's how you can tell if you have coolant intrusion. All right, here's the TSB 19-2375. Um, if you want to read it. Fourteen to nineteen fusions and seventeen to nineteen escapes with the one point five liter EcoBoost, and they're calling for a new short block. Warranty status eligible under provisions of new vehicle limited warranty service part warranty special service part extended service plan so I'm not sure about that 150,000 what I said earlier um, I don't see that in here but there's the labor times And here's where it tells you uh, <clears throat> with the engine at normal operating temperature, pressure, pressurize the cooling system to 20 pounds, hold for five hours. Did the coolant pressure drop more than four PSI over five hours? Yes, go to number three. No, it don't apply. That's a lie because mine only dropped three pounds and it was still filled the cylinder full. So. If it don't drop, if it drops less than four pounds, now I don't think I had it quite on there five hours. So I don't know, but regardless, I don't care if it drops a pound or two pounds, still pull your plugs and check. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you all have a great day.